All right, we're back. Uh, yeah, we're just watch. Then in that case, I would ask for you to keep the same close eye on our dorms. If some man and some woman decide to share a room, there will be nothing to stop them. God damn it, Celeste! You're in it for all of us, aren't you? All I care about is protecting the holy image of the school itself. I don't care what happens in your private dorms, by force or by cunning, do whatever you want. Oh, okay. <laughs> See ya later. Okay, so the new regulations in place. See ya. Man, that stupid bear totally ruined my mood. Maybe I'll go dip to cheer myself up. Celeste, Chihiro, wanna come with me? As for me... There's nothing I hate more than getting water on my face. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'll pass this time. Huh? How come? When you're in a funk, there's nothing better than a good swim to put pull you- Uh, I, I would join in, if you need. I'm pretty sure that only applies to you. Anyway, now I have a pretty good idea what's on the second floor. But I didn't see anything that might lead to any kind of exit or anything. All I care- All I can do now is hope someone else finds something worthwhile. Okay, I better head back to the dining hall as soon as possible. Oh, we're not gonna see swimming? Shit, alright, fine. All your sexual depravities. Look, even men and women older than 18 are sex-driven maniacs, alright? Sex is in our fucking species. We eat, fuck, and shit. That's all we fucking do to maintain our natural selection. Anyways, uh, okay. Ladies and- Uh, I don't want to rasp my voice anymore, so I'm just gonna skip an entire dialogue. Yes, THERE'S A LIBRARY! Okay. And a pool! A freaking pool! And locker rooms filled with exercise equipment? Well. There was not, however, anything resembling an escape route. Yeah, she's right. I see! Well, hey! There's no reason to get all sulky! Wait, till you hear about my amazing discovery! Let me guess. There's a second floor. Quiet down and listen! Oh, okay, never mind. The warehouse and bathhouse on the first floor of the dorms are now open. You hear me? And the warehouse is chock full of food, clothes, whatever you want. There's so much, it's insane. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. So go ahead and stuff yourself to the gills whenever you feel like it. <laughs> are you okay with this? Keeping in mind, of course, that going out in the nighttime is still prohibited. Please do not forget. Yo. Okay, and what about a fucking way out of here? Do you find anything like that? Oh, well, um. Why? There wasn't anything in the warehouse we could use to get our asses out of here? Nothing? Unfortunately, no! Not what I saw. Hey, come on! You fucking people. Hey, what the fuck are you doing, Mondo? What? Who gives a shit if we have a goddamn pool now, or a warehouse, or whatever the fuck? We're still trapped in this piece of shit school! We need to find a goddamn way out! <laughs> now, now, there is no point in taking your anger out on us. Adaptation is the key, no? For now, we must find each in a way to enjoy our current situation. You piece of... Whatever you say, you fucking loon. <clears throat> For now, let's just continue our investigation and let everyone know if we should discover something. So, then. Yeah. so are we done for today? Well, yeah, I guess so. The air seems to suddenly grow heavy again. Was this the mastermind's plan to give us hope just to turn around and betray that hope? Someone's gonna die in the fucking pool. <laughs> Someone's gonna die from the Gatling gun. Or maybe there's gonna be like a shit ton of books piled onto one dead body. <laughs> I don't fucking know. 10 p.m., we get it. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah, sweet dreams. Whew. We all promised not to leave our rooms during nighttime. There's not much else to do. I guess I'll just go to bed. I will say the music does get pretty repetitive. I mean, it's pretty cool for a little bit a while. But I imagine, like, if you constantly play this over and over and over again, yeah, it's gonna get into your head real annoyingly. Uh, Mr. Monokuma, Mr. Monokuma, do you have a second? I, I don't really like myself. I don't have any kind of skill or hobby. I can say I'm super good at... And my grades are totally average, too. My reflexes are okay, not great, not awful. I could get into a decent college where I'd make a few friends, maybe you'd find a normal girlfriend. Which is exactly why I don't like who I am. I understand that now! My life is just one giant copy-paste! 
I don't have any imagination. I'm a perfectly average cardboard cutout. You see what I mean, right, Mr. Monokuma? Yeah, and sometimes the voice acting could get a little bit grating, so I could easily imagine that being a little bit annoying too. But hey, it's a lot better than fucking Hyperdimension Neptunia, that's for damn sure. Everyone in that game is fucking annoying. At least in this game, like there's like only like three morning, annoying everyone. characters. And even so, it's part of the personalities, and it's and nighttime is officially over. At least Time it fits to, to their personality of being creepy as fuck rather than just cheerful as fuck. Get ready to greet another because when you're gonna be happy, be like creepily happy or something like that. Like be kind of like the psychotic fuck you are when you're happy because that's the type of like personality I think that could really be interesting if you're just happy and like oh happy go lucky then that's just really annoying for me. Oh, that's just my personal preference that's all. I wanted to let you know that your e-handbook in case um updated. there's any girls who ask me out on a date for some reason. regulations have been added so please take a look and enjoy your school life more than ever before. Is it an actual new rule or is it the repeat of what happened yesterday. Regulation menu, can I check that right now? Okay. But right now, I have to hurry up and head to breakfast. Someone's gonna die. Sure, I guess. Alright, where's breakfast? So there's a warehouse that's a bathhouse. Is this where breakfast is, or... Taco is right, we really keep getting here now. But the others must be- oh, okay, so breakfast in the dining hall, not <laughs> at whatever food hall that thing is. Okay! Hey, Makoto. Now what? Morning, Makoto! Good morning, is everyone here alrighty? Uh, already? No! Still waiting for Byakuya and Taka. Jackka's yoke, no surprise, but it's strange Taka's not here yet. <laughs> Someone's gonna die. <laughs> Knowing Taka, I imagine he's trying to get into the king of the tardiness up and out of the bed. <sighs> I'm sure they'll be here soon enough. Just be patient. Let's see. I don't mind waiting for them, but there is one problem. Which is... I am thirsty. Hey, come on. How the hell is that a problem? <laughs> hey, Fumi, would you... M would you make some tea? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Milk tea, if you please. Well... Why me? Let's see... Your lunch figure reminds me of the owner of the coffee shop I used to frequently. Hey, spicy meatballs and all that shit, right? And your reasoning? This is fine. I can feel my throat drying out. Quickly, please. Oh. Uh, mm. Okay. Hey, please the 2D lady, alright? It's your duty! If you fool me. Uh, apparently, unable to refuse Celeste orders, Hifumi skulk his way into the kitchen. And a few minutes later... <laughs> this isn't the milk tea! This is brown juice! Hifumi appeared with a tray in hand, a gentle aroma growing stronger as he approached. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. <laughs> you could have made some for the rest of us, you know. There's no way to I'm empathetic! Decline. You're not my type at all. I don't think she's anyone's type. <laughs> Let's be real here. Hmm. It's all about the law of casualty. Basic instinct. Act and react. Grr. <laughs> well then, if you don't mind. It's, there's poison inside. There's fucking poison inside that tea. I, someone's gonna die here. Right now. Uh, a small smile played across her lips as she held the teacup delicately in her hands. Oh. Wait. She cocked her head into the side and threw the cup as hard as she could at the wall. There's poison inside, I know it, it's acid! What? What the? Hey, hey what are you doing, my little white rabbit? <sighs> I hate this kind of tea! Okay. Um, uh, I don't understand. Yes, indeed. Imagine we are at the coffee shop, just any normal, everyday cafe. I sit down, and I order some tea. Then they ask me, would you like lemon or milk? Now, further imagine that I replied, ah yes, I would like milk tea, please. In this case, along with my tea, they may bring me a small container of milk, yes? <sighs> but this is not for me. I am among those who are preferred the milk to be a part of the process from the outset. The fragrance is just overwhelmingly sweet that way. 
Adding milk or lemon right before you drink it is like dousing your fries in ketchup. Mere condiments! Whenever looking for a cafe, I first review their menu to see if they offer the proper style of milk tea. And I cannot acknowledge any milk tea that does not add the milk during the brewing process. If I just had to describe our shared reaction of what we just heard, I had to go with wide-eyed, wild-eyed bewilderment. Um... I went to all that trouble just to make you that tea, and you wanted me to go even farther? <sighs> yes, I realize it can be a bit of a hassle. Even in cafes that offer proper milk tea, it is always more expensive than simple tea with milk. So does this have anything to do with the fucking plot whatsoever, or is this just exposition? <laughs> it takes more time to prepare, surely, but... Why even bother creating a menu if you're not going to offer the highest quality of level? Level quality. Yeah. Well, um, we don't actually have a menu. You little that, that's bitch. Jesus fucks a lust. I thought you were like a fancy little shit, aren't you? Wow. Uh, that doesn't matter. Hurry up and bring me what I ask for, swine. Say what? What? Yeah. Okay, Celeste, you're on my shit list. Okay, you little piggy. We'll bring it right now. <laughs> I feel fucking sorry for Ifumi. Sorry, dude. I do so love coercion. Huh? You were like a totally different person just now. Shit. Yeah, shit, you really went psycho there. <laughs> <laughs> I knew there was more to her than this when we I first met her. I to have I hate to have her as an enemy. But then again, this is fucking linear as hell, alright? So seriously man, she's one scary chick. The dining hall doors flew open, and one of the late arrivals came storming in. But... <laughs> Bad news, everyone! There's a mystery afoot! Huh? Huh? What happened? <clears throat> it would seem... Byakuya refuses to leave his room. I stood there pressing the doorbell over and over, but he never showed himself. Maybe he just wasn't there? I think maybe... I like to think so, but I'm worried something might have happened to him. What he meant by that. He didn't have to say anything else. Everyone understood exactly what that meant might mean. It might be a good idea if we all split up and go look for him. Listen to me. Ah! I was just about to suggest the same thing. What's your problem? So stop trying to one up everyone. Um Okay then, I'll go check his room one more time. I'm just going to keep on hammering that button till I get a response. Well then. Well then, the rest of us can go and check the rest of the building. Uh, um, yeah, but before it's, you know, too late. Anyway, we had to just do our best to find Byakuya. So, where might Byakuya have gone? Maybe he went to check the second floor of the school again. Maybe that library place? <laughs> Fucking Celeste here, still, uh, standing there. Celeste, aren't you gonna help for looking for Byakuya? I have not had my tea yet! Huh? As for me, Until my thirst is satisfied, I have no urge to do anything. <laughs> if you're in a hurry, feel free to motivate Hifumi to move fast. Uh, okay. Hifumi, move faster! Please the lady, before she goes psycho on your ass! I feel like there's like, gonna be a murder afoot and you're gonna be the victim! So hurry your ass up and finish that damn tea! God damn, you can't even move with the fucking okay. d-pad, really? Ah! Mr. Nagi, what is going on? Well, nobody's seen Byaku yet this morning, so we've all decided to go look for him. What? what? That's not good at all! However... However, this little piggy needs to... I have a holy edict to deliver a proper milk tea to my master. <laughs> master, huh? Oh boy. <laughs> to bless this undeserving swine with such an honor, I will serve you with all my heart and soul. Okay, good luck with that. Hifumi's created some creepy alternative reality for himself. God damn it, Hifumi. You're gonna be the bitch of the relationship, you know that? Let her boss you around. You're a man, you know that? B a big, tough man. I I'd like to believe. Uh, this thing's closed? Or not. Where the fuck are we? Oh shit, this is the... Oh, no, 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 oh, this is the, okay, so this is, like, the end area, okay, never mind. Um, so, okay, who's here right now? Now, maybe I can chat, too. 
just uh, the, the swimmer girl in Toko. Kitchen, dining hall, warehouse. All right, so I could check out the warehouse for that. What's uh, that top place there? Dressing room. All right. Boys' bathroom. All right. So basically, just search out every corner of the of uh, the vicinity. All right. So I assume. Oh, okay. So there's Toko right there. I don't know if I want to talk to you, but okay. Hey, look, Toko. Hang out with Hina, huh? What's your problem? What? You got a problem with that? No. Do you have a problem with me speaking? <laughs> Something might have happened, right? Being alone right now might not be safe. So you got scared and decided to stay close to Hina. I guess everyone has a... whatever. <laughs> as long as I'm with some sports idiot. If something does happen, I'm sure she'd jump in without the thinking to take the fall. Oh, you better fucking not. What? what? Were you eavesdropping? Awful, you're just an awful. Get lost, you stray cat. You better fucking not do anything. Uh, uh, what's her name again? Oh yeah, Toko's a bit of a psycho. She might kill you. Just a, just for a warning there. Uh, hey Hina, any luck? Nah, it's no use. I keep banging on his door and nothing. Come on already, open up! Careful, you're gonna bust the door down hitting that hard. Relax, this is nothing compared to what Sakura could do. Sakura's really awesome, you know. If she really wanted to, she could tear this open door this door to shreds. Uh, I see. Well, she is the ultimate martial artist. She might be able to do it. Hmm. I've been knocking long enough. I think we can say for sure he's not here. I think you're right. Okay, I'm gonna low look around for him. Okay, good luck. I'm just gonna continually knock this door. You don't mind? Yeah. Oh, what are you gonna do with that knife, Toko? Wait, what are you doing? Ah! Ah! Uh. Guys, I'm pretty sure he's fine. He seems like the type of... It would be really interesting if... Byakuya actually did die. Because he seems like the type of character that you wouldn't expect to... Die immediately. He kind of seems like the the type of character that that's gonna like stay for a while and and such for that. But yeah, if the, this is gonna be any normal JRPG or Japanese game whatsoever, he's still alive. If not, then this could be an interesting turn, man. This could be very interesting. Yo, and a very different turn for Japanese games. How's it going? You find him? No. Hey, come on. Shit, man. Where the hell did he go? He got his head stuck far up his ass. Who knows what's going on with him? I figured maybe he was taking a bath or something. By the way. So what about you? You had a more you a morning bath kind of guy? Hell yeah. After spending all night riding your hog, wind up in your face, there's nothing better than a morning dip. Hot water to loosen you up and uh, sure I guess. What? What? You don't what? know what I'm talking about, fucking Hell nerd. Yeah. Guys gotta expose themselves to each other, you know? Come with me n I don't have to bend over and drop the soap, do I? I'll think about it. But I mean, it's not like you've been riding your hog here in school, right? Uh, slippers, anything? Let's search up this door. That's where, uh, the, the dude was, right? Oh, hey, this is a fucking small. Holy shit. This bathtub is huge. Down the lockers. That locker's open for some reason. One of them's unlocked, but I don't see anything inside. Okay. Using this massage chair would make me feel kinda old. But hey, I get a coin, so cool. What are coins used for exactly? Is it just for achievement bonuses or what? Alright, what what's the place I haven't checked yet? Okay, I guess I could just go this way. Wait, no, 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 someone's at the boys' bathroom, right? I, for I forgot. Hold on a minute. Yeah, he is. Alright, hold on a minute. Uh, where's the boys' bathroom again? This is not the boys' bathroom, is it? Is this the place we've been through before, or? No, this is the laundry room, never mind. So nothing uh, too out of ordinary here. What's this thing? A bunch of mag uh, magazines. This one is called The Lovely Ladies of Earth. It's filled with what they refer to as whole class beauties. I'm just wasting my time finding money here, aren't I? Right, 
what's her face's name again? God damn, I really need to remember all your guys' name. I just remember the- I just only remember the guys I hate. I can't remember the life of me of the guys I actually like or don't mind too much. What are you doing in the bathroom, hero? Hmm. Huh? Oh well! According to the spirit- I consult- I swear to god, this guy is like the Knuckles of Sonic games. He is a fucking dumbass. Except where Knuckles is an annoying little prick. This guy's at least likable. Uh, he had a bathroom emergency and couldn't make it to breakfast. Well, His gut forced him to spend all the morning in the can. No but I was totally wrong. Swing in the mist, three strikes, I'm out. Yeah, Byakuya doesn't seem like that kind of guy to have problems like that. I don't know, I, ha I had a bathroom problem before during this recording session, so you never know. What the fuck did I eat? I don't know, mac and cheese? Curry? I mean, not curry, sorry, noodles. And, uh, I don't know, what else did I eat? And that's really it, honestly. So I don't know what the fuck caused me to have an ass beat. Ugh. Uh, okay, uh, we're on new floor now, so what's around here? I think it went so far. No one checked the first floor, really? I guess it's my duty to do so. Maybe it's not the first floor. Maybe I'm just gonna waste my time. Or maybe the game will tell me. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I might be wasting my time here. Alright, let's go to the, uh. Not, not the store. No, not that place either. There we go, there it is. I'm gonna assume that everyone else is in the uh, second floor, so. That's at least my guess. Alright, do you find anything, uh. Hey. Kyoko Kiligili? So, you thought to come here too? Huh? So. If you think about what Byakuya was so interested in yesterday, you can probably guess where he is right now. Huh? What was the okay library? I mean, he was there, right? So, bathroom. Uh, if there's an exclamation mark in the fucking, no, oh, there's not. Okay, so at least the game's giving me some leisure way to guess where the fuck he is. Uh, where's a? Uh... God damn it! What's her name again? God damn it! Who are these people? I've been with you guys for like how many days, and I still keep forgetting your stupid names. Why can't you guys be like Leon with a normal English name? Because <laughs> of course this is a Japanese made game. Alright, uh... Um, Chihiro Fujisaki. Oh hey, Makoto. So, did you find Byakuya? Uh, I'm no, sorry. I didn't see him anywhere. I see. But... Somehow, Kyoko figured out wh where he might be. You know? It's not that hard. <laughs> Guys, it wasn't really that hard. Just go to the fucking library. That was his last location. So yeah. Let's go. When I opened the door to the library and looked inside, I cried out in sudden surprise. Byakuya? Oh my god, if he's really- nope. <laughs> Come the fuck on, guys! I told you! I fucking called it! Um, of all the things I imagine, this most definitely wasn't one of them. Hey, uh... What are you doing? He's just gonna say, mind your own damn business. I'm fishing. What does it look like I'm doing? I'm trying to read, so if you could be quiet. Oh, sorry. Wait, no! What are you doing here? Everyone's super worried. We've all been looking for you. Who asked you to do that? Because we're all supposed to meet up in the morning and eat together. We made a promise. I don't think he remember or cares. <sighs> Can't I get a second's peace and quiet around here? You know, this is the perfect opportunity to get away with murder right now, maybe. As long as, um... Kili Gili doesn't barge in or anything. Byakuya snapped his book shut and slowly stood up so there was a shadow. Meanwhile, the others must have heard me yell and started showing up on another another. Yo! Byoko! Byoko? <laughs> Fuck. Byakuya! Where is this? So this is where you've been hiding! <sighs> the heck are you doing here, man? We were very concerned. Hmm. Well, you had no reason to be. I was just reading. Well... Uh, do you mind uh, if I read that book as well? W what are you reading? 
A mystery novel. Yeah, I don't trust you, Dale. Well. Wait, so you're gonna use what you are learning to there to portray us? That or the other way around, to make sure he, de he himself doesn't get killed in the process. So, it's one way or the other, but can I read that book? <laughs> don't be stupid. Yeah? It's just something to keep... Yeah, what? If I decide to fight, of course I'll come up with something original. Otherwise, the game of ours will be totally boring, right? He is so gonna go psycho. It's not often you get to take part in such a high-stake, high-intention activity. That is, unless someone kills you immediately. <laughs> so, yeah. So if you're going to do it, you have to make sure it's entertaining. Mm -hmm. His words sent a chill down my spine. There was an undeniable smile on his face as he spoke. He looked like he was actually enjoying himself. Enjoying the this deranged killing game. Damn you! What the fuck do you mean game? That's fucked up! But it is a game. It's a game of life or death. Which can have only one winner. That's all there is to it. <sighs> He's right. It's zero sum game. Seriously game? Guys, can you please not make this so obvious, please? Because by making him, making him obviously like the bad guy here, there are multiple scenarios that come up. Either someone's gonna kill him immediately, either he's gonna kill him immediately, or he's gonna wait until now and everyone's gonna blame him because, oh, because you had a plan going on, we're gonna mark you for death, and no, that's way too obvious. So either way, you're not winning any points here, game. Are you okay with this? This is part of a game theory. A mathematical... Th no, model. <laughs> In game theory, what we are going to do now is called a zero-sum game. In this type of game, in order for one person to gain something, another must necessarily lose something. In other words, it is a situation in which participants must complete, compete for position for resources. I see. You mean like a kind of elimination match? Actually. Endurance exams, sports tournaments, job openings. Most social interactions fall into this category. Ooh, excuse me. Everyone must scramble to obtain something which is limited. For you to succeed, someone else must fail. This has also applied to the school life we had been subjected to. Is that okay? Our limited resources is that only one of us can be successfully become the Blackie. So in other words... So this game was designed from the beginning to force one of us to try and defeat all the others. Or maybe we could all live in pe mutual peace. <laughs> we could have like a full-on life here. We live here, we die here. It's gonna be like Vault 101 again. All of us just living in a vault. Whatever happens in the vault stays in the vault. And yeah, th that's it. Uh, that that can't be what they had in mind. I'm pretty sure... Just get take your lens off, please. <laughs> this is why adaptation is so crucial. If those who want to escape were to disappear, there were there would be no reason to continue playing the game. What? But why would I want to stop playing? Too much fun. Smile again as he spoke. Smile was filled with evil intent and twisted his face into something not human. <sighs> Sounds as if you do not acknowledge even the possibility that you may lose, am I right? Naturally. Of course. <laughs> you do not speak like the others. Exactly what I would expect from the Togami here, apart. Ugh. It's just normal arrogance, isn't it? Just a second! You talk like that, but what if you end up dead? Not possible. I won't. It simply isn't possible. <laughs> you know, I could just blunge you right now so that I can prevent, so that I can make you lose. In fact, I'm willing to sacrifice myself just to keep your ass dead. You son of a bitch! Because this is a terrible game, and you know what? I would just kill myself if I was to be stuck in this forever future torment. We could have all had a normal life, but no. Because you want to tap into your stupid fucking game. Alright, we'll deal with this bitch. Except the game's so linear as fuck, so it's not like I'm able to do anything, so whatever. Uh, I've been recording a long time now. Hold on, shit. We should take a break real quick. I should have taken a break as soon as, like... The door opens and we see Byakuya still alive and well or something. Anyway, see you guys in a bit.